Oh! Accept the pain. Feel the pain. <laughs> How many times have you heard people say shooting is expensive? Quite a few. You know, it's generally attributed game shooting, certainly to upper class people, even clay shooting people view it as an expensive sport to get into with guns being quite expensive. So today, I'm going to try and buy the cheapest gun on the internet because it needs to be accessible and easy. We're going to discount the part where it's quite difficult to get a shotgun license or at least litigious to get a shotgun license because I've already got one. Um, as of you, probably if you're looking at shotguns. So, you start with two major websites, Gunstar and Gun Trader. Gun Trader is the original, Gunstar has come along subsequent. There are some other pit ones about, but to be honest, these are the two big ones. You can go on Pigeon Watch. I bought a few guns off Pigeon Watch in the past, or Gun Watch, whatever it's called, their gun side on Pigeon Watch. There's bargain to be had. Type. Shotgun. Uh, select all calibers, there you go, wise. Search. All right, a Webley 12 gauge for 700 pounds. I bet that's actually one of the gun shops because that's actually in the workshop right now, I know that exact gun. So, this is already organized it by price. A CBC 12 gauge, you know, an AOA number four box lock, 25 quid from a fully adjustable tri-gun available for hire. See, there's something that does annoy me about uh, Gun Trader and Gun Star is dealers putting like test guns up. Five pound for a DT-11. I find that immensely annoying. Almost as annoying as the basset hand in the garden who's just finished his lunch and wants to come in. All right, so we're on to single shot, is looks like pretty much a CBC 12 gauge. The cheapest gun, single shot ejector, CBC model 151, no warranty, three inch chamber, trade seller. Boom. It's gonna cost that, it's gonna cost more to get that down here than it is to not. The country store in Cambridge. Man, these people have gone for a lot of effort to actually put this together, like, and put a lot of photos up of this really unexciting gun. All right, so that's 20 quid for a single shot. Uh, realistically, do we want a single shot? Not really. Now, if you're gonna go clay shooting, you can't shoot pairs with a single shot. Bakel 12 gauge, classic Bakel that is a bargain. 45 quid sold as seen for a single shot Bakel. I mean, power to them. And I suppose it's worth it for if you put warranty on it, but I feel like sold a scene. Zabala 12 gauge. Now we're talking a side-by-side -side shotgun. Somerset trade seller. Boom. Oh, she is a beauty. Look at that. From Coombe Farm Sporting Limited in Krukern. Old Julian. It's got a recoil pad. It's got a, a stock and a foreign and a black action. Oh, a stock made of wood. It's got some rust. I mean, I reckon we'll be able to bid them down from 50 quid. So we're not technically buying the cheapest gun on the internet. We've got to check the gun stuff first. Short buy price, lowest price first. Ah, Meraki Evo, no price, no price, no price. Big ting test ad over and under. It's not called that. Oh mate, 100% look. Big ting, test ad over and under. <laughs> so you know these people have like been putting a test advert in here because you've got all that Laura Mipsum crap on the bottom and it's 10p. I know you know the guys at Gunstar are like proper bad man. They got a big ting, <laughs> test ad over and under. All makes, all 12 ball over and under, storage for shotguns, nowhere to keep at home, question mark, RFD services. Towers of Rochdale, Bakel 12 ball. See, this is more it. The Bakel single shot used non-ejector from Towers of Rochdale, a tenner. That's fair. That is very fair. Spanish 12 bore single barrel, Towers of Rochdale, BSA Schnipe, Astras, a lot of single shots. Single barrel, single barrel, singles. Towers of Rochdale have the biggest collection of single shots for sale in the entire world. Various 12 gauge side by side, 50 quid. Selection of side by side from 50 quid to 90 quid. And to be honest, I was pretty sold on that Zabala. It's from someone I know, which is important to trust where it comes from, or at least be able to phone them up and ask the truth behind it. So, I'm gonna phone them up. A 50 quid. That is a bargain. I'm gonna have to ask you to send it over as well. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, it'd not be funny, it would cost me 50 quid of diesel to come pick it up. <laughs> it's as simple as that. 
gonna be in the post in the next week. And now a quick word from our sponsor, who is us. So if you want to support us and you can be part of our sponsorship program, you can become a channel member. There's a button down there that says join, click it, there's a link in the description, and you can support our channel. You get loads of free content, you get members exclusive videos, it's great, and you get to support us in the work we do, which I hope you enjoy, which is why you're watching. Anyway, let's carry on. So that came extraordinarily quickly. The beauty of someone like Kumpan is that they also sell really custom blazers and really nice guns. So you get that kind of top end service even when you're buying this, which is a, I think he described it as a bit of a tractor. I must admit, I'm not half as excited as I was when I bought the last gun. <laughs> but anyway, let's see what 50 quid buys you. Ooh. Look at this absolute beauty. Does it even deserve a gun porn segment? Probably not. Are we going to give it one? Oh yeah. As a bar LP71. Well, let's start at the rack. The custom fitted heel plate does wonders for me out of some unknown hard plastic. It is finished to about 40 grit, which is obviously how all pads should be fitted, and the wood to metal fit is extremely spurious. Um, isn't it nice? No, not really. The wood could be walnut though. Um, the wood probably is walnut. Is it good walnut? Hard to tell with that sort of brown lacquer on it, and you can see the 60 grit stains underneath. The checkering is um, hand done, and as we say, hand done's better than machine. In this case, probably not. Uh, it's uh, pretty rank, actually, isn't it? Uh, it could be improved with Leatherman package. Oh, it is pleasant to occasionally completely abuse a gun. Disrespect. Uh, the wood to metal fit, however, is pretty good. The metal work is crude, the engraving, as Frank would say, is naive. The um, shaping around the fences is asymmetrical. I'm not sure if that's intentional. Probably not. Is it nice? Well, everything's relative, isn't it? Like, what do you expect for 50 quid? From a trade seller, no less. From a trade seller at auction, would it be 50 quid? Probably not. Buying for a trade seller, is that nice? Yeah. Is it better than the bacon? Which bacon? The one that you'll soon shoot. At uh, Pasco? Yeah. <laughs> Finding this hilarious. I'm glad you are, like. Oh man, this is the best idea. Um, well, members will know what I thought about that. So, uh, no, maybe, yeah. Is it nicer than the bagel? It certainly looks better than the bagel, doesn't it? It looks more of it like a European shotgun. I like the Prince of Wales grip, the, the stretch of that front trigger. I mean, the back trigger is actually quite nice. The stretch of the front trigger is not bad. The safety is big and easy to operate. The blacking and bluing is in, let's say like, six out of 10 condition. Like actually it's pretty original, but it is pretty rusty. The fore end. You know it's nice when you have a complete flat wood to metal fit. These people really cared about quality gun making. It's all right, like, it is actually all right. I say all these horrible things about it, but it goes bang. The metal work is sound. That joint is tough as you like. It is an extractor, not an ejector on there. The barrels are in pretty good condition to be fair. An LP71. The joke is I actually had one of these probably 10 years ago. Um, I needed a gun and I didn't have a great deal of money. So I went into a gun shop and said, I need a gun with a long stock. And they pulled one of these out and it was under old quid. So I feel like this is doubly the bargain. And I tell you what, I shot all right with that. And everyone well, used to take the piss out of me because it was a cricket bat, but that's by the by. How's it mount? Cool, need some cast. The proof will be in the pudding. The bores are sound. Let's have a quick look what choke it's running. Three eighths and seven eighths. Uh, often 18.3 and 18.4 bore. I think we can safely say the only thing I know about this gun is it's gonna kick. I think I'm gonna cast it just so it does it justice. Actually, <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> to the clay ground.
Are you ready now? Not really. For the cheapest double barrel shotgun on the internet. Oh no. The barrels are the wrong way around, Johnny. We can change that with a big vice and a big wrench. Can we do that before we shoot? No. <laughs> well, this is a thing of beauty, isn't it? This is just really a thing of beauty. It's been cared for. You know, this woodwork's immense. It's a grade five, but it's nice than your double E. It is, it is. That pad fit is by Purdy's. Yeah. Would you um, would you take a straight swap in the shop for my double E on this? No, nah, to be fair, I'd want some money my way as well. Okay. Yeah. yeah Let me well. save up. All right, let's go shoot it. Oh, so dear. give it a go. Nervous? No, not even a little bit. I'm just not going to blow up, it's built like a tank. <laughs> a Spanish tank. You bring the peg, shove it in. I can't find the hole, Johnny. Come oh, on, well, use that pegging lesson I bought you. Do you want the delay on or the delay off? Uh, delay off if you're pressing the buttons. Yeah. Sense, right? yeah. Yeah. Boom. Beautiful. It goes bang twice. Yeah. I have a 50 quid. That's quite good. Did it beat you up? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I can imagine that the face is going to be extremely sore after this. Are you going for a pair? Uh, yeah, why not? Cool. Boom. Oh. Oh. Right. Fifth quick gun, Kibworth's training stand. Completed it, mate. Completed it. It even feels horrible, doesn't it? Bastard. Woo! Cool. Oh. What a horrible, horrible <laughs> invention that is. Let's look at the positives. We hit some. Yeah. The stock spec isn't what you'd call particularly modern. And the gun is most definitely not luxury. No, but it does go bang. It yeah, didn't twice. blow up. It didn't beat me up as much as I thought it would beat me is up. Is it single trigger? No, it's double trigger, isn't it? I and I'm not used know, to shooting. I, I didn't even notice. <laughs> <laughs> it's a double trigger. But uh, it's usable. Oh, mate, for 50 quid, it gets you into the sport. Yeah. Imagine, right, you're on an island. Yeah. And you're born on the island. And there's no one else apart from one woman. She's the most beautiful woman in the world. Just saying. All right, well, just imagine that. No we? basis of comparison. <laughs> Should have filmed it, Dad. Should have filmed this it. This is not a good way to start for a confidence builder. Do you have anything to say for yourself? Gun dump fit. <laughs> oh. Oh. Now he gets it. You have to really shove your head onto there. And <laughs> accept so you that can it's going to down the barrel. Accept the pain. Feel the pain. <laughs> Enjoy the pain. Right. Oh, over the top. It just doesn't look right when you're looking down the side beside the barrel. It does. It's just that doesn't look right because the stock is just a horrible spec. <laughs> and. I was going to bend it, but it would have just kind of crippled the value of the gun. <sighs> horrid, horrid creation. It's not, it's lovely. It's not. Right, imagine, imagine, right, you've just got into clay shooting. Yeah. You don't want to be spending a lot of money. Yeah. You've just bought a gun cabinet off eBay for 70 quid that you can cut open with a tin opener. Yeah. And you've got yourself a license with a 90 quid. And you're like, I haven't got a lot of money left over because I've spent it all on the security and the licensing, so I'm going to dabble. That's a cheap dabble. I would rather dabble <laughs> in a single barrel, old school hammer action than Seriously, guys, I should have just bought the cheapest gun on the internet, as yeah. opposed to buying the cheapest double so that you could miss pairs instead of <laughs> <laughs> oh, It's just a thing of luxury. Well, Oh! Man's got game. <laughs> Skills for days. That's it. I'm selling the double E. And I'm going to purchase this off you. Well, I'll give you a good price on it. <laughs> Seeing as you can shoot it so well, I feel like it's worth about 400 quid now. Mm, no. <laughs> no. But come on, for 50 quid. Yeah, don't get me wrong. I mean, you know, if you wanted something that you were going to rake around the hedge bottoms in, I'll shoot a couple of pigeons with it, I suppose. It did the job, wasn't it's it? Just a gun snob, aren't it? Yeah. Well, I feel like it's at least got to have a set of ejectors in it these days. Yeah, I, I 
I'm quite happy that it doesn't. Like, that's just another thing to break, isn't it? Double trigger, double yeah. action, two completely separate mechanisms, no ejectors. This is going to be the most reliable gun in the world. But I just think, for 50 quid, I bought a bakel over and under ejector for 50 quid. Yeah, there ain't none of that on gun trade at the moment. They're worth more money. Yeah? Yeah, like 100 odd quid. Well, I just think you could have at least found one with the barrels the right way, on me, Johnny. So there you go. Part two, and we'll buy the cheapest over and under on the internet. And, and then, then we'll come still back. Still, bitch. It's <laughs> crap. <laughs> no, it really isn't crap. You can't cut it. You've got to no. cut it a bit more slack than that. Well, I'll have one more. Go on then. You oh, show those Big good. old crossers. <laughs> Are you sure it's not crap, Johnny? <laughs> Go on. It's pretty crap, isn't it? <laughs> Come on, not very funny. If it fitted right. <laughs> But we've it doesn't. Hit, we've hit a couple. Uh, I've just the crosser, please. Final one. Oh. <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it. Oh. The final message of this, though, is that I would rather someone bought this and then had the money, like spent three, four hundred quid having it fitted, than bought a four hundred fifty quid gun that they also shot like an absolute bag with. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Now I get you what you mean with that. I, I'm looking at it from a personal point of view. You know. It, side by sides aren't my thing. But somebody who shoots a side by side, they would probably, you know, will use that just as effectively as, as what they would any other gun. I don't think they would. You know what I think? We explored this the other day, didn't we, down at Devon. Cheap side by sides are significantly more disgusting than nice ones. There is a lot to be said for that. You know, a nice, quaint, English-made side by side. Oh, it shoots like... Shoots like, like a dream, have a gun. It's it? like a feather, isn't it? It's like you're throwing a feather about. That is like wrestling a pig into a pen. It's heavier than your Beretta. It is. Well, there you go, guys. We had a go with the cheapest gun in the world, in the internet, the cheapest double in the internet. Kind of a misnomer, the title of this video, don't really think about that. And it broke some clays. And it works. So, to get into shooting, 50 quid. The end. The end. <laughs>